the Impact Day forecast from the WGAL News 8 Storm Team. Well, severe storms made their way across the area yesterday in the late afternoon into the early evening and even into the overnight period. You see some of the storm reports, all wind damage or mostly wind damage, especially across the northern portion of the Susquehanna Valley, even across Cumberland, uh, Adams County and York County. There was a 70 mile per hour wind reported, a lot of tree branches, even some trees down on roadways, a couple calls to 911. So certainly an active day. No report of tornadoes, even though we did have a tornado warning, these storms were showing a good amount of rotation. Now today's going to be a little different. We won't see a widespread severe storms, but the threat is there for isolated storms to a few with a little bit higher chance across our southeastern areas. All is quiet right now in our storm team live radar network and our live local scan. I can't rule out an isolated sprinkle or shower this morning. Uh, otherwise, it should stay dry, but we will see more storms this afternoon. Here's a look at the rainfall reports. Cashtown uh, over an inch and a half, uh, almost an inch and a half in Coryville. Harrisburg International Airport just under an inch. Definitely needed the rain. We were showing some pretty dry conditions, even abnormally dry conditions. York Airport, three quarters of an inch. Some other amounts over an inch and a quarter in Chambersburg. There were some areas around Chambersburg that picked up an inch and a half. Inch and a quarter in Hanover, and you can see Hummelstown, Mannheim, and Chambers town getting a nice uh, dose of rain there. You look outside right now. We're starting off with quite a bit of cloud cover this morning in Lancaster. You see the gray skies there. Temperature, dew point temperatures in the low 70s. So it's that kind of air you can wear. It feels pretty soupy outside and temperatures right now starting off very warm for this time of the year in the mid to upper 70s at this hour, a few spots in the low 70s. So your News 8 Storm Team forecast calls for partly sunny skies. I do expect scattered showers and thunderstorms mainly in the afternoon, and a few of them, as I mentioned, could be on the severe side. That's why we've made it an impact day. So if you have plans to head out this afternoon, definitely want to keep an eye to the sky. Temperatures are hot once again around 90 degrees. Now tonight, Clear skies, cooler conditions, refreshing conditions return to the area. Dew points will be dropping this evening as some winds pick up out of the north northwest. Temperatures will drop into the upper 50s to low to mid 60s. And tomorrow, lots of sunshine. Few clouds will bubble up in the afternoon. Pleasant conditions, a little on the breezy side. Temperatures right around 80 degrees. That's going to be far different uh, than what we've had this weekend. So you can see the higher threat here across our southeastern counties, down into Maryland, and then off to the east towards Philadelphia. This is where we have a slight risk, but a majority of the area in a marginal risk, which means there's a chance for isolated severe storms. And what you can expect today are scattered strong, scattered strong to severe storms uh, in the afternoon and the evening, mainly in the southeast, damaging wind gusts, heavy rain, large uh, hail is possible, a very low tornado threat, and that would be mainly in the southeast. And again, we could see down trees, ponding on roadways, uh, maybe even a few power outages. The front still off to our west. It will be making its way across the area this afternoon during the peak heating of the day, and that's what's going to ignite or strengthen some of those storms. So here's 1130. You see some showers, maybe a couple rumbles moving through the area, and then the front mainly comes through the afternoon hours, and then you could see just a few storms developing in our southeastern area. So certainly not as widespread as yesterday. Those clouds will clear quickly. Winds will pick up out of the north, helping to usher in that drier, more comfortable air mass. Monday setting up to be a gorgeous day. Tuesday looking just as nice, just a little bit warmer, but still very comfortable before we turn up the heat. And we're looking at possibly our second heat wave of the season. 90s return by Wednesday along with the humidity. Could have some isolated storms on 4th of July, mainly in the afternoon. The evening should be fine for fireworks. A few storms on Friday. Better chance though on Saturday, but those 90s continue into early next week. Thank you so much.